Heartland Midwest supervisor severely injured by the explosion at JJ's restaurant spoke to 41 Action News one year after the accident. Mike Tanner responded to the scene to help after his crew called in that they struck the gas line. 41 Action News investigator Melissa Yeager sat down with Mike and his wife Crystal to talk about what Mike remembers from that day and his reaction to this week's Public Service Commission report that places significant blame on MGE. Do you remember anything from that day? I mean, I remember going down there and getting there and um, looking at the situation and um, speaking with my guys and and trying to you know figure out the whole situation. And I mean, like I said, I'd just gotten there. I hadn't been 10 or 15 minutes there. What do you remember after the explosion? One of the first things I remember was about three and a half, four weeks in was when I finally woke up. So I missed almost a month of my life. And I mean, it wasn't something to remember when I did wake up, you know, because I wasn't in the best of shape. I imagine a lot of it is pieced together through pictures and... Yeah, I've seen a lot of pictures that, you know, look familiar. And I've seen a lot of pictures that I don't remember any of. I, I think we saw one of them carry, someone carry you out. Or... Yeah, I don't remember any of that. Or speaking with the gas guys that helped dig me out from what I'm understanding. And the fire department that carried me out with that picture that you're talking of. I don't remember any of that. When you hear about the report that came out this week, wondering what, what you thought of that report. Having that report come out, being so good on our side, and telling other people the same thing that we were trying to tell other people, that we would try to do everything we possibly can. If we didn't know about the other line, if they did yeah, anything, another mark on the ground would have made a difference because we would have found the third item. Now, Mike is still seeing doctors and going to physical therapy for his injuries. He still doesn't have use of his left arm and suffers from a lot of pain from nerve damage and fatigue. However, he says he is glad to finally be at work part-time.